and the gun that may be a weapon of some kind just shoots right by the UFO. Some experts believe the objects change direction as if under intelligent control. Not so, point out the skeptics. If one piece of debris hits another, as, as will happen from time to time just through the laws of chance, then of course there will be this change of direction. Others are not convinced. And so NASA tried to say, well, the flash of light you see is the shuttle thruster. And when they file the thruster, that's when you see the object make a move. But on close inspection, some of the objects in the film are moving in multiple directions. And so when you would fire a thruster like that, common sense tells you everything will essentially go the same way. And that's not the case with the STS-48 footage. At the end of the day, I think we may have more questions than answers. We see this practice of passing knowledge down through a secret society go back all the way to the days of the Illuminati, who believed that a select few of the elite were smart enough, were capable of handling this secret knowledge, but not the population at large. So the question remains, has this knowledge been passed down through secret societies for generations? And this may predate the secret societies that we know about in modern times, all the way back to the days of the pharaohs. NASA's real core mission in the beginning was essentially to go to the moon, retrieve evidence of the fact that there was a prior advanced civilization in this solar system and bring it back. In other words, prove that in fact we are descended from these gods, Isis, Osiris, Horus, and Set. Now that that goal's been accomplished, NASA's purpose seems to be to be part of this very, very slow revelation of information. If ancient knowledge guided us to the moon, what might the ancient past reveal about our future here on Earth? And with NASA's continuing explorations of space, might we finally find proof of alien beings or proof of our own alien origins? <laughs>